Imagine being able to recreate the power of the sun right here on Earth, not just in theory, but in practice. That's exactly what just happened in Germany. The Wendelstein 7X, the world's largest stellarator, has achieved something no other fusion reactor has before, sustaining a superheated plasma for 43 seconds, while breaking a record for something called the triple product. This is a critical step toward the dream of limitless, clean energy. You see, nuclear fusion is the same process that powers stars. Unlike nuclear fission, which splits atoms apart and produces dangerous radioactive waste, fusion fuses light atoms like hydrogen into heavier ones, releasing massive amounts of energy in the process. It's incredibly clean, safe, and sustainable. But it's also incredibly difficult to pull off. That's where the Wendelstein 7X comes in. Located in Griefswald, Germany, this device is not a tokamak like the ones you usually hear about. It's a stellarator. And instead of relying on pulsing electric currents to shape plasma like tokamaks do, stellarators use twisted magnetic fields created entirely by external coils. This makes them naturally stable and theoretically capable of running continuously without the same risk of disruptions. And in May 2025, the Wendelstein 7X delivered on that promise. During its latest experimental run, it sustained hydrogen plasma for 43 seconds. But more importantly, it achieved the highest ever triple product value for that duration. The triple product plasma, density multiplied by temperature and confinement time, is the gold standard for measuring progress toward energy producing fusion. To put it simply, the higher the triple product, the closer we are to achieving net energy from fusion. To make this happen, scientists used a high-speed pellet injector developed at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. This device fired about 90 tiny frozen hydrogen pellets, each just a millimeter in size, into the reactor during the 43-second run. These pellets provided a steady supply of fuel, keeping the plasma alive and stable. Meanwhile, Powerful microwave heating systems maintain temperatures above 20 million degrees Celsius, peaking at around 30 million. But it wasn't just about temperature. The total energy processed during a six-minute pulse reached 1.8 gigajoules, far surpassing the previous record of 1.3 gigajoules set in 2023. That's a massive leap forward in energy handling and reactor endurance. This isn't just a one-off achievement. It's proof that stellarators can perform at the level of tokamaks and potentially surpass them in long-duration performance. That's huge, because while tokamaks like ETER and JET have dominated fusion research for decades, their pulsed operation poses serious challenges for building a continuous energy source. With this new record, the Wendelstein 7X has shown that stellarators can not only compete, but lead in some key areas. According to the team, the goal now is to move beyond 43 seconds into minutes, hours, and eventually continuous operation. That means refining everything from fuel injection to magnetic precision to heat management. It's a long road, but this milestone is a clear sign we're headed in the right direction. We're witnessing history. A new chapter in the pursuit of clean, unlimited fusion energy has just been written not in the distant future, but now, and if progress like this continues, we may very well live to see fusion light our cities and power our world.